Taylor Swift has dropped the music video for her latest single, The Man. Both the song and video take on double standards between men and women. As with her past videos, this one is full of Easter eggs and other hidden meanings. Here's a look at everything you missed. Every video from Swift's lover era has started with her by a window, and The Man is no different. Except, now we have Tyler Swift. The office he's in looks similar to the one from Swift's Bad Blood music video. Instead of a fight scene between women, this time we get a recreation of The Wolf of Wall Street. Swift's alpha male persona Tyler mimics Leonardo DiCaprio's Jordan Belfort. Tyler takes the scene a step further by fist bumping and acknowledging only the men in the room. The Leo reference is no coincidence either, but more on him later. Next, we see Tyler manspreading on a subway train. Behind him are some fake advertisements parodying the overtly violent and sexual ways in which the media portrays men. The one seemingly advertising for liquor reads, capitalize on the feeling. This is likely a reference to how Swift's been criticized and called calculated for writing about her relationships. The word greedy is written on the train wall. Swift's been called greedy in the past for certain business decisions she's made, like adopting a fan-verified ticket sales system for her Reputation Stadium tour and pulling her music catalog from streaming services like Spotify and Apple Music over artist royalty disputes. But there's a whole other take we can read from this poster in the word greedy. The title Boss Scotch seems to be a play on words referring to her old record label boss, Scott Borchetta. In a post on Tumblr last June, Swift shared how she felt betrayed by Borchetta's sale of her music to talent manager Scooter Braun. This poster could be a call out to Borchetta as greedy for capitalizing on Swift's body of work, which famously features her own feelings and experiences. Let's take a look back at the movie poster, Man vs. Disaster. The fake title could reference the action film trope that all it takes is one man to save the day. In contrast, Swift has often been said to be playing the victim when she tries to fight industry giants like record labels and streaming services. One of the fellow train passengers is wearing a Miss Americana in the Heartbreak Prince sweatshirt straight from Swift's actual merch line. Miss Americana is another song from Lover that deals with themes of sexism and misogyny. Looking back to the movie poster, you'll see the date July 20th. Does this mean Miss Americana could be a single in the summer of 2020? Tyler opens a newspaper and the cover story asks, what man won the year in celebrity dating? This headline calls out the double standard that criticizes women but celebrates men for dating around. Swift herself is somewhat of a poster child for this double standard and has spoken out against it many times in the past. Tyler exits the train onto a platform and pauses to uh, take a leak. He's at 13th Street Station, a nod to Swift's lucky number 13, which we've seen referenced many times before in past videos. The wall Tyler stops at is covered in graffiti with the names of Swift's past albums like Reputation, Red, and 1989. She's hidden Easter eggs through graffiti before in many of her Reputation era videos like Ready For It and Delicate. We also see the word karma in graffiti, which we've heard Swift use before in her clapback song, Look What You Made Me Do. A sign says missing, if found, return to Taylor Swift. And another one symbolizes no scooters. The posters and graffiti are another reference to her ongoing battle with Scooter Braun and Scott Borchetta over the masters of all of the albums we see on the wall. Tyler's peeing on the wall could represent how the two men and men in the music industry in general have disrespected Swift throughout her career. There is also a poster for Mr. Americana directed by Larry Wilson, premiering at Mandance and documenting Tyler Swift. Taylor Swift's own documentary, Miss Americana, directed by Lana Wilson, premiered at Sundance earlier this year. When speaking to Glamour about making the film, Wilson recalled how she and her all-female crew were often not taken seriously because of their gender. This riff on the documentary's poster also relates to the fact that Swift directed this music video for the man. Her impressive credits for the song and video, that's songwriter, performer, executive producer, video director, and star, to be clear, come at a time when music, film, and other entertainment industries are being heavily criticized for their lack of opportunities and recognition for women. As Tyler steps away from the subway wall, we see the man written out in, well, it's glittery and blue, which looks pretty similar to Swift's lover aesthetic. Having the man written in blue glitter could also be Swift's way of saying men, just like women, can be complex and aren't limited to the narrow definition of masculinity society pushes on them. Next, Tyler's on a yacht. If it looks familiar, that's because it's another nod to The Wolf of Wall Street. The movie not only embodies the sexist double standard Swift calls out in The Man, but its star, Leonardo DiCaprio, is specifically name-checked in the lyrics. I'd be just like Leo in Saint-Tropez. DiCaprio is well known for dating a number of women, especially younger models. 
and in The Man, Swift makes a point of emphasizing how men like DiCaprio get more of a legend status for this type of dating, whereas women like herself are criticized for their dating habits. We see Swift call out double standards again as Tyler leaves what looks like a one-night stand. Instead of having the walk of shame that's assigned to women, he struts through what looks like more of a hall of fame. 19 hands high-five him. They're the 19 hands we saw on the song's promotional photo. 19 is a number Swift's been highlighting since even before the video was announced. During her Woman of the Decade acceptance speech at the Billboard Music Awards, Swift mentioned 19 other female artists by name. The references to the number are likely a nod to the 19th Amendment, which gave the first group of women the right to vote in the US. The amendment's ratification is seen as a landmark win in the women's rights movement in American history. Swift also released The Man on February 27th. This is the anniversary of when the Supreme Court dismissed a challenge to the amendment and unanimously agreed that the right to vote could not be denied on the basis of sex. And if the hallway looks familiar, it could be because it resembles the one from Kanye West's distinctly sparse home. You might recall that West infamously interrupted a 19-year-old Taylor Swift at the 2009 VMAs. And Swift's not just throwing shade at West here. Her reference is pretty significant under the context of the man. When West interrupted her award speech, he implied that her work wasn't deserving enough of it. Years later, when West referenced Swift in his song Famous, he rapped, I made that famous. West's behavior is a clear example of men devaluing or even straight up taking credit for a woman's work. This reference seems even more purposeful after a scene in Miss Americana that shows Swift writing The Man with Joel Little. She throws out some lyric ideas saying, we'd be popping bottles to the and models and the hoes because they get to call us that, which is exactly what Wes did. In the next scene, Tyler's being celebrated as the world's greatest dad after seemingly doing the bare minimum with his child. This scene addresses another double standard where single moms rarely get any recognition, whereas their male counterparts are praised for little effort. If you look closely, you can also see that while Tyler is manspreading again, his daughter isn't, which could be showing how girls are taught from a young age to take up less space. Also catch a brief cameo from social media star Dominic Tolliver and actress Jaden Bartels. We next see Tyler partying in a bar with other men. They throw around money as they take body shots off of women, referencing the reduction of women to objects and being valued only for their bodies. The money they throw around has Tyler's face on it, a pretty obvious comment to men owning more money because of the gender pay gaps and a straight up lack of opportunities for women. The men are all wearing matching gold rings, which looks similar to fraternity or other club rings. This could be referencing the boys club culture in many industries, especially the music industry. Next up, Tyler's playing a match of tennis. We can spot a Taylor Swift merch water bottle under the bench. This scene seems to reference a specific incident with Serena Williams when she was fined $17,000 for code violations at the 2018 US Open. Williams argued with the umpire and slammed her racket on the ground during a match. She said her actions were due to her feeling that the umpire was unfairly penalizing her with his calls. Serena's situation relates to Swift's recent comment to CBS Sunday Morning when she said, a man can react, a woman can only overreact. In the music video, Tyler's given a similar pass. He throws a tantrum, gets hysterical, smashes his racket, and fights at the Empire. And no one does a thing. Not the ball girl, who's actually TikTok star Lauren Gray, or even the Empire, played by Swift's own father, Scott. This could symbolize how people do notice men acting childish and emotional, but they don't face the same backlash that women do, and often for even lesser behavior. 58 years later, a very aged Tyler is getting married to a much younger woman. Five plus eight is, of course, 13. The scene shows a stereotypical marriage between a super old guy and a younger girl. As the bride flashes her giant ring, it's likely she'll be painted the bad guy and labeled a gold digger. The light pink flower on Tyler's lapel looks like the Cornelia flowers Swift's been using throughout her Lover Era promo, and also references the album's track, Cornelia Street. We've seen a wedding and cake smashing in a Lover Era video before, and you need to calm down, there's an epic cake fight after a same-sex marriage. Swift could be drawing parallels to society's acceptance of what might be called a non-traditional marriage with a larger age gap over one between two people of the same sex. The scene also begs us to imagine the reverse. If an older woman were marrying a younger man, she'd be the one criticized for cradle robbing. In any case, it's the straight man who's getting off easy. As the epic video comes to an end, Swift reverses gender roles one last time. We hear Swift as the video's director yell, cut, and Tyler walks off set. He asks Swift about his performance, but the voice we hear is actually The Rock's. Swift tells him to be sexier, maybe more likable. She then praises Lauren for her outstanding work, 
And really, she's just been standing around in the background. It's Swift's last dig at the ridiculous and sexist standards in the entertainment industry, where men are showered with praise and awards, often for doing the bare minimum, while women are constantly asked to do better by, well, by being sexier and more likable. The Man is a funny but poignant take on several of the double standards women face and the larger systems that enforce them. Swift's lover era has seen her becoming more vocal about politics, and if this video is any indication, she's only getting started.